Hi guys, how are we? Mark from Treasure Hunt in Scotland just finished digging this hole. I'm just about five and a bit of feet. Uh, we're nearly on the bottom of this hole, so we've had absolutely nothing out of it but sauce bottles so far. <laughs> There's a lovely seam just in the back in here. You can see it's nice and orangey just up here. Hopefully we'll get something out of that. Right now there's a few odds and ends still stuck in the wall. We'll get down to them and uh, yeah, I'm just going to muck out the bottom. I'm nearly on the bottom, I'm about, about maybe a couple of inches away from the bottom. Muck that out and then we'll start getting into the back walls. Here we go, here's the first find in here. Whether it's going to be a beer. Oh, it is as well, I think, yeah. Oh, it's a nice one as well. Sold a few of these. Look at that. SCWS Pictorial Handshake. Lovely green beer, Glasgow. Get in, Unitas. There you go, lovely uh, Scottish Wholesale Society bottle there. I'll take that. Remember, I've seen all this stuff, I've always seen ginger beers. There's got to be a ginger beer somewhere, there's a, a jam pot, I think, in there. We never know, might get a wee cream pot or something out of this hole. Well, wherever I find these, I always find cream pots as well, so fingers crossed. Go, the next one out is a lovely little Whitakers and Co. Colour WKS. Which is kind of works. So there you go. Had a few of them before here. We'll muck it out again. Dig back in and see what the next find shall be. There we go. First poisons of the day. Poisonous. Aqua. Not to be taken. I'll take it. Great condition. I love this tip. Not a lot of sick stuff. So yeah. There you go. Another poisonous. Not to be taken. We're still going into this back wall here. I've virtually untouched. It's only about five feet to the top. But yeah. There's still a good bit of going here, I think we'll get something, I'll just keep trenching back the way and mucking out as far as I can. Well here we go guys, here's the next one out. It's a little inkwell, aqua inkwell, it's got a bit of dent on it, look at that. Must be for burning. Yeah, there's one stuck up here. Quite high, is that good? I don't know if it's a beer or a mineral. Let's get it out, yeah. I want to crack it. Really cracked it with my shovel. Look at that, Jai, I think it's Macintosh. Jai McIntyre. Crack and talk. That's a cracker, eh? Get in. Beautiful. That's nearly the end of the first hole. <laughs> and yeah, not a lot to show for it. Possibly a matchstick striker or an old ash tray there. It's a pretty nice design. Look at that for a wee mini sauce, still with the original label on it. 1940s beer, blank, 40s, 50s. Stoneware Inkwell, pork pie or whatever you want to call them. <laughs> I've seen them be called that recently in mud Latin videos. There you go, lovely little penny Inkwell. Sauce bottles a lot, still with the original label. There we go, EG Bar Glasgow. Thanks California syrup. Yeah, nothing absolutely too great coming out, but yeah, we're getting ponds, jars, nothing on them. Sometimes you'll get a wee bit of writing on some of them. Yeah, not a great deal. Did get this as well, I forgot to show you that. It's a Kodo back house. It's this one here, it's a Rico Scythe. Hamilton Brothers. Glen Campbell Co Scythe. And it's a small mineral. There you go. Beautiful. So that's the end of hole one. Let's move on to hole two and hopefully it'll get better. Best find out of that hole was probably the green SCWS bottle. I'm hoping for something better, maybe a cream pot, but yeah, let's change hole number two now. I think that's like a funner leg. <laughs> I don't know if it's off a doll or a pipe damper. Some of these used to be pipe dampers, believe it or not, and they used to use a boot to put their tobacco in, but yeah, that could be a pipe damper. Not sure, it could just be off a doll, but somebody will know. We'll get it cleaned up when we get it home and we'll investigate it further. There we go, I had one last shovel in and there you go, a lovely little. I think it's a Christy clay pipe. I think that'll say Christy, it looks like it says Christy there. Looks like a wee Christy clay pipe. Get in, hole. I'll take that all day long, love my pipes. Beautiful. Yeah, all the years, maybe 60, 80 years, 100 years in here. And uh, yeah, they're still whole. Amazing, isn't it? Well, here we are. We've got something in here. 
Oh, I don't know if it's a beer or not. It is. It's a, oh, it's a cracker of toa, man. Oh, it's a belter. Look at that. Here's the beer. That cod's got to be about here somewhere, isn't it? Welsh and weedy trademark Kirk and Tillot. Look at that beauty. Oh, oh, it's an absolute cracker. Wow. Oh, worth coming out the day alone for that as well. Get in. Well, there's a heartbreaker, the Glasgow Aerated Water Company. It's a skittle and a flat bottomed Hamilton. There you go. Gutted. Shows you there's got to be gingers in here and cods. If they're here, this is an early tip. Either that or it's a 1930s tip with some early, some kind of early throwouts. But yeah, we're looking good in this spot. This is a new hole, it's hole number two. We're not getting substantial out of it for that green beer, but we're nowhere near the bottom yet. So let's keep going. Hopefully get there before dark, we'll bury that, as you see a trench, you know, back away so that I don't miss anything and then what I do is I level it out, I've trenched from here all the way around in, <laughs> in an L shape and what I'll do is rake it once I'm finished. Well, this day alone I've nearly got a full set of these. <laughs> Jai McIntyre, of course, Kirk and Tillock with the trademark which looks like a cup, wine glass I call it, and a, a diamond. Established 1808. January 1808, I think, or no, 1893, sorry. So there you go. Another mineral. It's rich as, as rich can be down there. It's an untouched dump. I'm very well pleased that I found this because I think there's going to be some real goodies out of it. Well, I was hoping this was going to be a cod, but I think it's going to be a mineral. It is, it's just a bars bottle and it's broken. Oh well, I thought I'd take it out of life for these anyway. But yeah, just a bars bottle. This is hard going, second hole's proven tough as well. I am knackered. What have we got? Stoneware. Stoneware Penny Ink. It's always good to see them. Another ink well to go with it. Jam pot, back in. I think it's a pickle jar. Back in. And uh, this one, yeah, look at that. Cod liver oil emulsions with hypothesis. There you go. Beautiful. So yeah, I'll just go trench on for five minutes and just see what we get. There's something you don't see a lot of that I threw out. It's an old hospital needle. Look at that. Can you see that? There's it with the injection we went into the patient. Unbelievable. Old hospital needles. And there's a clay pipe I've just found lying about. Let's see what's in on it. New one on me. I'll try and clean it up when we get it home. But yeah, it is a lovely clay pipe. Well, sometimes you've just got to admit you're defeated, but hey, we walked away with a couple of nice beers, some poisons, a couple of wee stonewares. It's the thing about bottle digging, you can never guarantee you're going to get the goods. It's the fun of it, it's digging a hole and seeing what you can find. We did get some nice finds, some lovely pictorial beers. I will take that, the poisons was nice as well. Lovely. Could have been better. Two holes, two different places. I've seen signs of the 30 to 50 pound poisons I've been finding as well, <coughs> somewhere else for the back, and uh, yeah, and they're quite different, they're substantially worth a bit more actually, the ones I've seen for the back, and uh, yeah, so we have came to the end of trenching, I'll show you the last couple of finds, nothing spectacular, and we'll show you all the stuff cleaned up on the roundup. Hello guys, back to the roundup, for pie ink oil. Another ink well as well, which has got quite a significant dent in it. Just in here. Lovely, lovely, lovely pictorial beer. SCWS, which is the Scottish Wholesale Society Limited, Glasgow. Beautiful, original stopper. This is a beer here that's a cracker for me because of the colour. Look at that beautiful colour. Kirk and Tillock, <coughs> Welsh and Weedy. New one on me, but hey, there you go. Beautiful pictorial beer. We also managed two of the minerals that are similar to that, which are Jai McIntyre. But you see they have the same glass on them. Hmm. So were they a, a company that combined together? I don't know. It says registered trademark 1893. You can see that clearly now. So yeah, maybe they combined with another company in 1893. <coughs> there we go. We've got a Jai McIntyre again. With the glass, Kirk and Tillock. 
I just love this pictorial glass, it's absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> poisons, not a spectacular dig, poisons not to be taken, aqua, not a spectacular dig, but yeah we did get some nice beer so I'm chuffed to bits with that. Uh, yeah we're going to be trenching this a lot more because I reckon there's a McIntyre's beer in there. I just, I know it's there because I'm seeing that many minerals that I know they're there. <clears throat> AG bars as well, there's that many minerals that there should be an AG bar ginger beer. This is all the same kind of stuff I've seen at a previous dump, so yeah, I'm hopeful. A ginger beers and cream pots at some point. You did see the smash skittle, which is always a good sign. Like cream pots and, uh, you know, ginger beers always follow with them. So somewhere in there, there's a cream pot and a ginger beer with my name on it. It's like everything, you've got to put the shift in to find it. Sometimes you don't always get it, sometimes you do. It's a fun of bottle digging. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with the two pictorial beers, I'll put them in my collection because uh, this one's significantly better than the one I have in it. And uh, yeah, some of these will probably go up for sale on the eBay shop, uh, which will be a link in the description below. So on that note guys, I'm going to call it a day for this video. We'll be back out metal detecting probably next. So on that note guys, good luck, happy hunting, and I'll catch you guys in another video soon. Bye for now.